right, everyone. So today we're gonna focus on the benefits of resistance training. Resistance training is defined as overcoming weight through various ranges of motion. So a lot of people think when, when I say resistance training, they just immediately think barbell on my back, blood coming out of my nose, sweat dripping, power lifting. It's not that intense. It can be if that's what you're into, but most people aren't into that. So resistance training can be executed through any one of these means here. We can use our own body weight, we can use free weight, which would be dumbbells, kettlebells, um, barbells, any sort of weight that is not connected to a machine, which is our next category. And we have a machine here in the gym. It's called a dual cable machine. But if you go to Pelican Athletic Club, which is here in Mandeville, or any big box gym, you're gonna see a ton of machines. Those are great uh, options as well. And resistance training, and how hard you should push it is really dependent upon your experience level. So a beginner really shouldn't go into the gym and try to take every single set to you know failure where they're, they're pushing as hard as they possibly can and they're just their muscles give out, right? A beginner really doesn't need to push it that hard to receive the benefits of uh, resistance training. So that's a little bit about what it is, but why should we do it? And like I said in the last video, there are a ton of benefits to resistance training. In fact, resistance training is probably the single most important thing you can do for your body other than eating well and sleeping well. Resistance training has a myriad of benefits. The first one and the most obvious one is through resistance training, you're gonna build strength. You're gonna build muscle mass, right? And you're gonna be able to manage your weight. Now, we've obviously done a lot of videos on this concept of body recomposition and weight management, but through resistance training, we really can transform our body and our mind. We can also increase our resiliency. And I know that that's kind of an ambiguous term, but let me describe it for you. Resiliency refers to the ability to get up once you've been knocked down. The resiliency refers to the ability to just keep pushing forward. You know, it kind of encompasses all of these ideas of endurance and stamina and strength, right? But I'm not really talking about that specifically. I'm talking about more of the things that we can't see, like a resilient immune system, a resilient and sharp mind. You know, through weight training, we're able to increase our self-confidence. An example of this would be, let's say I set a goal of a one rep max back squat, and I wanna squat 315 pounds, right? Or whatever, right? Let's say the goal for you is you wanna squat 185, or some of you 405 pounds. Whatever the goal is, we set that goal, and then we train to eventually reach that goal. Throughout that training process, there's gonna be a lot of ups and downs, meaning we might get injured throughout that training process. We might fail a couple of times when we try to reach our one rep maximum goal. But throughout this process of overcoming adversity, we build mental resiliency, and we're also building physiological resiliency. Some of the other benefits that are due to resistance training are increased stamina, like I mentioned. Now, this is really important because if you work a very active job, then your ability to perform your job well depends on your stamina, right? Uh, also in the weight room, you know, we can't really enjoy the weight room if we're just fatigued after the first set. And so building stamina allows us to really enjoy the weight room so much more. One of the ones that I had mentioned in a previous video that is related to resistance training is this decreased cognitive decline. Now we spoke about Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease specifically in a previous video, but resistance training is really the catalyst for creating a healthy brain, for creating a healthy mind. And we talked about that at length in our benefits of exercise video. Another one that a lot of people don't think about, actually a lot of people think about the opposite, but a lot of people don't realize that through training in the gym with weights, we're actually increasing our flexibility. I know, right? I thought you got tight when you lifted weights. Well, actually the research shows that if you take a movement through your entire range of motion with weight, you're actually increasing your flexibility. Another great benefit is you also are improving your balance through resistance training. Now, let's take a single leg exercise for instance. Just standing on one leg takes a ton of balance, right? Now, the younger we are, 
we tend to be a little bit better at balancing, but as we age, we lose this skill. Well, through resistance training, we can not only hold on to this skill, but we can actually improve this skill. And the final benefit that I wanna to mention today, and to be sure I could talk at length about this, but the final benefit is just increased well-being. You know, I kind of made mention to this earlier in this video that one of the benefits of strength training is improved self-confidence. And I already talked about that, but that overflows so much into other areas of our life that can just improve our overall sense of well-being. You know, we don't want to be overly confident, right? But the weight room has a great way of humbling you before it builds you up. You know, when we're trying to reach our goals in the weight room, like I mentioned earlier, there's a lot of up and downs. But when we accomplish that goal we know what we're made of and we're not actually overconfident we actually know exactly what we can do and we're confident in our ability in the weight room well I hope this short list encourages you guys and girls to start resistance training talk to you soon bye